So many of the newer balers have knives on the front to pre-cut the forage before it goes into the bale. And that is a very good process. Uh, certainly it makes the balers a little bit more expensive. It requires a little bit more fuel for, for doing the baling process. But I think that the data would indicate that it is very beneficial both to the person making the bales and to the, particularly to the person feeding the bales. What we see is that if we pre-cut the forage uh, prior to baling, we can make a denser bale. 10% increase in density is useful to the person making the bales because first we can store more hay in the same space if you have a shed. Uh, you know, cattle eat pounds, they don't eat bales. And then uh, secondly though, it gives the bales greater form so that if you stack them, they stay more round. And thirdly, because the bales are more dense, we see that, I mean, there's less transportation costs. So you're hauling in the same bale more tonnage up to wherever you're feeding your animals, or if you're selling it, uh, you've got more tonnage per bale on the truck or wagon. Another reason that uh, pre-cutting is valuable to the person making the hay, if we can get 10% more forage in the same bale, it means then that we are using less plastic to wrap those bales. So we have less plastic to wrap, uh, less space to store, and we can haul more hay on the same trailer or truck when we get more dense bales. But the other thing that we see with the uh, pre-cutting is that this is beneficial really to the person feeding those bales. Uh, if you're in a dairy situation, put it in a TMR, the bales break apart much easier. So it is much easier to make your TMR mix with a pre-cut bale than with one that has long forage in it. But we've also seen that uh, for f people feeding beef cattle, that when we pre-cut the bale, and I would recommend about a four inch length, then we improve our feed efficiency. Uh, if you put a bale into a bunk to be fed, uh, a cow goes up to the bale, takes a bite, backs up, chews it off, drops off the portion on either side of its face and swallows what it had in its mouth. If you have the forage pre-cut into four inch length, she, the animal consumes a larger portion of that forage and drops less forage outside the bunk. So that's an improved feed efficiency. The other thing that we've seen though is that because of those four inch bites and less chewing time, the animal actually consumes more and that increase in consumption uh, results to improve animal performance. And one study reported that with forage cut to four inch lengths versus uncut forage, uh, that we got about a 10% improvement in animal gain. And again, uh, both the reduced feed loss now with hay at $100 or more a ton is worth a lot more than it was years ago. And uh, secondly, with the high price of uh, value of beef cattle at this point, if we can put 10% more gain on those animals, uh, that's worth quite a bit to the operator and owner of those animals.